Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to do a review on the Bondi Duke. Um, Duke is a nice model. Um, he's rarer than a lot of the narrow gauge coaches. Engines, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, and I'm not sure why. I think it's because he wasn't in the series that much. And this is an interesting picture. I actually saw this on a tub toy, this picture. So this is why the Shining Time Station Box picture, if they had made him on the Shining Time Station package, which they had discontinued that before Duke had been released. I think Duke is one of my favorites. I think he's the most detailed, and he's just one of my favorite models um, of the series. I've always loved Duke. I'm in the Bondi line. He's very good. I'm going to get him open. And he's far down in there, so going to have to kind of slide him out. There it goes. Um, all right, now here's Duke. Now, Duke is in a little bit worse condition than some of the other trains I have because he's been out of the box a little bit more. He does have some sticker wear. Um, I think a couple of the stickers have come off, like the, the inserts. He does have a few chips, like one there, a couple there. But overall, he's actually not in bad shape. I mean, he does have a couple of nicks. He does have some chipping there and some wear on the funnel. But yeah, again, overall, Duke's not bad. I mean, he's in pretty good condition. As for pricing, Duke goes for more than a lot of the other Bondi narrow gauge models because he's hard to find. He goes for around 30 bucks. You can get him for around like 50 or 60. 100's too much. Um, don't pay 100 for it. Like with all the other Bondi's, don't pay that from Japanese sellers because they're just overcharging. Um, it's not worth it. But you can find Duke for cheap if you look hard enough. It's just gonna be hard to find. And he's like a brown color. And you know, I kind of wish they made Falcon and Seward in the series too, but they didn't. It's unfortunate. All right, guys, that's Bondi Duke.